Was it really necessary to nuke this thread? Oh yeah, I think I banned like 20 people in this thread. Listen, okay? If I'm emailing somebody to set up a debate, then my emails are professional. Okay? If somebody's like, hey, blah, 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 do you want to set up a debate? Yeah, sure, we can talk at this time over this topic, blah, 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 blah. If a third party reaches out to me to set up a debate, it's on them to structure the emails, okay? If somebody reaches out like, yo, hey, do you want to debate, blah, 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 it's like, oh yeah, sure, we can talk about like this or that or whatever. Why the fuck would they copy paste my response to the other person? The, it's, the onus is on them to set the debate up and for them to phrase it in a way that makes it work. End of discussion. Like, this is standard fucking practice. Not, like, in my industry, right? Like, I would never in my dreams imagine, like, um, like... Like, if I get, like, an email from, like, one of my agents or whatever, and they're like, hey, you know, do you want to work on this or that? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'd probably be comfortable doing something like this in some limited fashion or whatever, maybe something like that. I would never expect my agent to fucking copy-paste my response to a client. No, of course not. Like, they're going to phrase it in a way that makes the most sense because that's their fucking job. Why the fuck would I expect, like, some dipshit like Ralph to copy-paste my, my fucking email to somebody else? Like, I don't know, like, the threat, the, the, some of this shit is so stupid. I mean, if this is Destiny's business slash main career, he should treat it as such. Can't really be upset if you are shifting the onus of topic onto someone else, especially Ralph and the Ralph part. Ralph is the one that fucking emailed me. Of course the onus is on him. It's, it's his fucking show that he's setting up. Why would I take time to, like, go through and, like, write some fucking elaborate email? What do you want to talk about with, with Stefan Mother? I don't know, fucking white nationalist or some shit. You figure out a way to phrase it. It's your fucking show. This isn't my business or main career. My business or main career is streaming on Twitch. I can or cannot talk to Stefan Molyneux. Like, there's a good chance that I will never never talk to him because he's continually backed out on debate after debate after debate, all right? He's like a keen star junior. I could go through all the prep work necessary to like fucking tiptoe around trying to set up a debate. As soon as I push him on a hard question in a live format, he's going to fucking leave. That's the reality of it, right? Like if you're really ass pain about this, you can like blame me or say like, oh, it's Destiny's fault, it's not happening. The reality is, is that Molyneux doesn't want to debate me. He's blocked me on multiple Twitter accounts before and he's continually made allusions to reasons why he would never have a conversation with me, right? So fuck out of here. Destiny fucked up on a good opportunity here from what just seems like laziness to not take all three minutes to bullet point a few ideas. Fuck off, dude. It's not my fucking show. Hopefully you can rectify this in the future because I think a debate with Molly Moon would be great. This is especially frustrating. Giving you asked about top... Oh, fuck, dude. I, talking about like industry standards or whatever. I, there was like one person in here, I think, that sounded like he had like a modicum of experience, like, like doing something. Oh, fuck. And I think he was even getting downvoted. What else can you expect from a music major college dropout with a bad attitude? It's no most concept, concept of professionalism. Like, it's, it's ironic because it's very clear that you're not a professional in this area, right? Like, nobody just forwards an email like that to, to somebody else. I'm trying to think, like, even in, like, um, even in, like, the casino area or whatever, if my manager would email me, like, hey, like, we can make requests of the VP of food and beverage or whatever for something in your casino, like, oh, yeah, we probably need, like, more pop, um, we probably need more, like, we need to order more fries or we need to order more, or we need more employees or whatever, or some shit like that. The manager would rephrase that as the point of contact and then deliver that information in the best way possible. I would never expect a manager or, or, or a VP or somebody or, or somebody in like an upper position to just copy paste my words to them to the other person. In that case, what the fuck is your job? Just fucking CC me in the email and I'll talk to them directly, right? If that's what you're going to do, um, did Ralph forward the email or quote? He literally just copy pasted what I told him. He's like, what do you want to debate? And I was like, I don't know, fucking white nationalism or some shit, right? I figure it's on him that he wants to set the show up and make it work to do it. Why the fuck would I, if you want to set, if you want to have me contact the person directly, then you're going to CC me in the email and you're going to CC them and then you're going to connect us. They'll say like, hey, um, Steven, I'm roping you into this conversation. I'm introducing you to Stefan here. Um, you guys can chat and set something up. Like, good luck. I'll hand this off to you or whatever. That would be the SOP for how you would deal with that. You wouldn't email somebody else and then copy-paste their reply to somebody else. What the fuck? At that point, just fucking cease me, cease me in the email. We'll have a conversation directly. <clears throat> Like, this is standard practice. Like, and all these people are acting like I'm, like, insanely, like, unprofessional because I've got a middleman that, that isn't going to, t like, take my email and, like, phrase it in a way that works with other people. Like, this is, like, s this is so standard. It blows my fucking mind that this whole fucking subreddit is, like, this is... Why would you assume that Ralph would take the time to be a PR spell check for Destiny? Jesus Christ! It's like, dude, like, what the fuck? Because he's literally the one, like, setting it up. It's his fucking show. This is on Destiny. He reminds me of my friend. Very short and seems almost burdened by the expectation to respond to anything. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a middleman setting something up. Spellcheck, this is something Destiny thought the guy would literally paste his response to someone else when asking about topics. Only watching the clip, it sounds like a casual question between two parties. With any understanding, it was only flowing one way straight to the third guy. Sure, yeah. Fuck, there was one guy in here. If you can't be bothered to phrase that appropriately, why should Ralph, LOL? Because he's the one setting up the conversation! It's literally his fucking show! What are you asking? 
Doesn't Destiny often complain about unprofessional emails? And now one of himself cost him maybe the top five debates ever. Because it's not, because I, when I'm good, when I, dude. Oh my God. It's really funny. I can't leak this directly. Fuck, I wish I could. I cannot leak this directly. But I have had um, between... Ah, between two major media publications and between a, an incredibly important contact that I've established now in the political world, all three of these people have explicitly praised my conciseness, my ability to be punctual with my replies to my emails, and my professionalism when I've responded to them. I actually get this feedback like pretty often in the professional world, but because I don't respond to a literal fucking white nationalist, assuming he's going to copy paste forward my reply to a debate that he's setting up, like somehow I am like the unprofessional emailer. Holy shit, I'm actually like, Dude, oh my god, I get so triggered reading this thread. I read like two replies and then I got off my phone and I came down the pin. I just started fucking mass banning people in this fucking thread. I got so triggered. Holy shit, it's so fucking stupid. In Destiny's friends, you would think Brof would do a better job when the kill streamer's been dying for months in order to get this big of a debate on stream. Wow, I can't believe this guy didn't take my super unprofessional response seriously. You realize that Ralph would do this. How can you be surprised? I don't know what Ralph is going to do. I don't really care because I'm never going to debate Stefan Molyneux. Like, I've had three different people. The modern day debate guy, another guy that ran a Discord that was having Stefan Molyneux, and then Ralph, I think, was the last guy to contact me. All three of these people said that they were working on a channel to set up a debate with Molyneux. And I told all three of them that I was interested, but not Molyneux is always going to dodge me. Molly meme grasping at straws to avoid it. Must have been pretty leave when he saw this opportunity. Yep. Not really. The phrasing is completely unprofessional. And if that's his impression of Destiny, I would understand not wanting to debate. For the phrasing, it easily... Ugh. Peak autism. Nice one. 49 points on my SJW commie fucking subreddit. Upvoting ableism as an insult to me. 49 points. Good job, guys. Man, the Chapo bread tube posters. Oh, God. Oh, no. Was it in one of these earlier threads? I don't want to fucking read through this. Destiny, you have to look at the optics of this. It clearly comes off as you being a hypocrite. Not a it doesn't come off as me being a hypocrite at all, though. It's just a bunch of people that don't know, like, like it's totally standard practice. If every action is determined by something external. If every action is determined by something external, then actions are truly of objectives. Are those objectives not synonymous with having meaning? Would that make determinism and nihilism contradictory? Um, an, an action, like, achieving some end isn't the same, I think, as having meaning in terms of, like, having an overall meaning for life or whatever. Like... Oh, is it newbody? Standard business communication is directly who you're talking to. Or if you're a middleman, clarifying. That's literally my job in a nutshell. You either talk to the person directly, or if you're in the middle, you do a little bit of work to make sure it happens because it benefits you too. Destiny could have handled this better, sure, but ultimately that Ralph idiot is just as at fault for putting forth a dumb fuck statement when it would have benefited him for the thing to happen in the first place. This is absolutely true. F Dude, fuck. This is actually so painfully obvious. It hurts how many people with no experience are talking here. Like, if I had a manager, oh God, in, in literally any environment, like, hey, what's going on? Dude, my restaurant restaurant's been getting like swamped. I need more employees for my night shift. Like, can you make that happen? If my manager would copy paste that to somebody else, like, and they were like, your, your restaurant is getting swamped. You couldn't think of a more professional way to request like, you know, more employees allocated to your fucking, no, what the fuck? No, why would you copy paste that? You're my fucking, you're my point of contact on this. Your job is to rephrase this. You're a fucking middleman. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't think a lot of people get these emails. No, I know, because a lot of people have never worked in, like, management or corporate or this type of industry, which is fine. I understand that. I'm not saying that you're worse for it. But Jesus Christ, like, the, the amount of, like, Jesse has no idea, blah, blah, blah.
fucking crap. Anyway. Do you think Ralph was more interested in making you look bad or sending him a good show? Ralph's probably just fucking stupid. That's probably all it is. That's it. Ralph is a fucking moron that has no experience, like, in industry. I guess maybe I could have, like, been more wherewithal. Like, had more uh, perception of that. But, like, Molyneux is going to back out of my debate no matter what. Like, 100%. Like, he has in the past. He's ducked out multiple times. He's blocked me on Twitter because he's been scared of talking to me. Like, we've almost talked a couple times in the past, and he's always found a reason to get out of it. There's never going to be a time where I talk to Molyneux. You're ascribing Ralph a position he never had. He's not your manager. Ralph is a middleman whose job it is is to hook up two people to a conversation. So his goal isn't to just copy-paste messages from one to another. Like, he's a middleman in the conversation. Also, it's his show. So the onus is on him to make it work. Why the fuck? If he's going to copy-paste my thing directly, then I'm going to cut him the fuck out. And I'll just talk to Molly to myself and do it on my stream. Right? Like... Why the fuck would I, why would I go through all the time to be ultra professional and set this huge fucking message up to Molyneux to benefit fucking Ralph? It's on him to do it, dude, not me. What the fuck? The onus is on him to host the show. Everything else is on you. Well, that, let me know how that's working out for him, bud. Do you ever feel like you just want to nuke the fuck out of the sub? Sometimes, Jesus Christ. But you know, we're slowly making progress. People are just dumb. I'm a PM and would never do this with a third party or my team if they're communicating up the ladder. What is PM? Something manager? Destiny doesn't benefit me as well. I'm doing I'm doing better than the kill stream, okay? I don't need a debate with Molyneux to, to be okay. I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the kill stream shit has been like on its dying breath for like a long time now. I don't even think they're on YouTube anymore. Didn't they get banned? Are they on like DLive or some shit? Oh, project management, gotcha. Imagine you're the fucking project lead and some tech shit and some lower and some fucking programmer like makes some request or whatever like oh you know like I need this or we should like change frameworks or whatever or you know we should you know do this or that and you just copy paste like that fucking request to like upper management hey guys here you go do with this oh my god okay I'm done I don't talk about that anymore oh god that fucking thread triggered the ever living fuck out of me holy shit <laughs> <laughs> hey, 70 year old, like, uh, fucking part time, you know, half owner, or whatever. Like, they, they, our, our programmers, how do you, what do you feel about Ajax? Like, what the, what, what is, oh, God. I'm in management at the company I work at, and my boss will tell me, um, will give, tell me to tell some company to fuck themselves in an email about how something is going, and I reword it to convey the message without being an asshole. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, hey, like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Even I'm trying to imagine like when I communicate with with one of my um w w when I communicate with one of my agents and I'm like like what do you guys think like so so sometimes we talk about like negotiating sponsor deals and stuff or like display and shit right and I'm like okay like this is cool but I think we can get a higher price like can you try and push him on more money imagine if he copy pasted that like hey just letting you know Destiny wants me to push you on more money what do you guys think about that like. <laughs> <laughs> like, how would, would that be my fault too? Like, Destiny, you can't say it like that. Like, you need to, to write it all out yourself. Like, wait, what the fuck? Well, what's his job then? Oh my god, dude. All right, we're done. I'd assume that these conversations set up an online discussion are generally informal. No? So it's less of Ralph's fault and more of Molly being a bitch. Does live stream slash influencer industry have the same standards of business ones when you're con- Well, like, if somebody is- con Here is something that is all that I would always assume. If somebody is contacting me saying, Hey, I want to get something working with a third party. How do you feel about that? Whatever I tell them, I would expect them to phrase in, in their own words to the third party every time. I would never expect my email to get handed off like that. Typically, when people want to hand off responses like that, what you do is you'll CC both people in the email and say, hey, um, I'm connecting both of you for this, you know, good luck, you know, here are your introductions, and there you go. That's what I would, that's what has happened in, in pretty much every conversation that I've had in the past with people on emails, professional or unprofessional. It's just common sense. Like, why would you trust a random minimum? Like, because that's just how it has always worked. I hate the appeal to common sense here, but literally, like, that's just what happens. Ralph is obviously dumb as shit for doing that and wrong, but your programmer slash manager example is pretty bad. Forwarding emails happens all the time because it's clearly expected that all parties be professional in a business setting, but maybe in your industry, it's standard for people to talk so unprofessionally. But I guess if people really have to congratulate you for being professional over email, they must be working with mentor. Okay, I could be totally wrong, but I have never heard that in my life. My understanding is that programmers do not talk to fucking upper management, that they always work through some project manager that understands both programming speak and how to translate that into something that works for upper management. That like a programmer would never have like an email about like some question that they're working on just forwarded to like some fucking upper management. That you always have a project manager that is taking what you're saying, putting it into a digestible form and saying like, hey, here's the benefits of that versus that. There you go. You would never see like raw numbers or, or, or raw, like some raw statement from a programmer just being forwarded to upper management like that's your one million yeah fuck off
There's a reason why people are programmers, okay? And it's not to talk to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, there, there, are, there are probably obvious exceptions to this. So, for instance, if you work in San Francisco as, like, a nine-person tech startup or some shit, and the guy that, like, fucking founded your company is also, like, a programmer, which, you know, could happen or some shit, then, obviously, in those cases, the environment is going to be a lot different. Sure. <sighs> okay, I, I want to move. Okay, I don't want to talk about this. I'm, just, I'm too triggered right now. You know, people always say that. Now I really wish I would have kept a record. I, honest to God, here is actually one thing that I'm, I'm going to give you a real ass regret. I don't know if I learned anything valuable.